Hi everybody, I'm Mike. Welcome back to the shop. And guess what? Another unbagging video. Now as a disclaimer, I paid for this item. They did not send it to me free, nor did I get any coupon to get it cheaper. I bought it. Kind of fancy to put it in a box once. Normally everything you get is just wrapped in plastic or some kind of padding. It's not often you get a box. And there we go, this cute little triangle. It's actually smaller than I thought it was gonna be. So this is something I've been wanting for a very long time as I need more accurate squaring devices. Now, my number one complaint at Banggood, you've probably heard me say before, is everything's in metric. Well, this item actually has imperial measurements on it. And my sole purpose for this one is for putting the table saw blade at 90, as well as using this for my bandsaw. Since everything else I have is a little bit too big or doesn't have a wide enough base, so you're not really sure if you're getting a true um, reading against a blade and the other bonus to this one for the table saw is it's got your measurements right up the side here so if I'm concerned about the height of a blade if that ever becomes an issue um, I can raise it to a certain height but the other reason I was thinking about these measurements was for on the router table when I'm trying to set the bit height to a specific size it's real awkward with everything else I have and especially when you're trying to put a ruler right next to the blade you've got the opening where the bit is it's a little hard to get an accurate reading with this it should be wide enough it'll span the hole and i can line it up right to the side so as you can see there are measurements up and down both sides uh not very much of a range so i don't know that you would really need to use that but you never know you just need a quick little you need to know you're coming in an inch uh the other thing you can do with these but on a tiny size like this i don't know why you would is you could use this for clamping two pieces of wood perpendicular to each other, making sure they're square, but I don't know what you're gonna put in those holes, but that is an option you can do with these. This side's got your Imperial, and it looks like this size, they do have metric still. So there you have it. If you're just going to use the basic 45, 90 degree, this is gonna work just perfect for you. And what I like most about it, which is what attracted me to it, is its size. It'll quickly fit in your pocket. You can bang it around and you don't have to worry about knocking out any kind of calibration or damaging sensitive electronics. In my case, I have a table saw that constantly knocks itself out of adjustment. So what this will afford me is that I keep it in my pocket or my tool vest, and as I'm cutting, I just keep periodically checking against the blade, making sure it hasn't walked out of adjustment a little bit. It tends to do that quite often. So, and again, I pointed out that there's these holes here and they have certain clamps that you can put in here. They have a solid rod and they clamp. So you could use this as a clamp. However, one idea that goes through my head is I might glue in some magnets. And then if you have a certain tool, like my table saw, I could just stick this to the side and then every time as I'm working around, I don't even have to worry about if I'm wearing a tool vest. Pull it out, check it, put it back. 
that's what this is best for. It's just for your constant checking, making sure you're staying within range that you've set forth. So I highly recommend this. It's got so many uses as you've seen. Not only is it just for angles, but it does have height gauge on it. And as you can see, that's the added bonus. Why? So you're getting multiple tools. Even the digital height um, calipers, they're not going to do angles. They're just doing height. So you're getting two and one out of this. So thank you for watching. Hope you found this video informative. And until next time, you take care.